Hi guys, I'm Phil Snow, Neve, Batlos, and former Scratch Pow. Today's video then is how to look like a personal trainer. Right, this all come about, uh, I just recently done a blog on this, uh, from a client I asked a question, uh, if I could answer one thing, what would it be? And she was like, well, how do I look like you guys, i.e. personal trainers? Let's just think about that a second, okay? And uh, it's not that we're genetic freaks, okay? We're not born with six packs and big biceps, okay? Um, we have to literally work very hard for it, okay? We have to sacrifice a lot, generally speaking, throughout the, throughout the industry. Although genetics does play a key, all right, it's not all about that, okay? The first thing is we are motivated to kind of look a certain way. We are our own calling card. We're our own advertisement, okay? So if we're not in very good shape, okay, myself, a fat loss and performance coach, then it's not likely that I'm going to pick up much business from being a fat performance coach, for instance, okay? So I have to be in a certain way. That's my main motivation. Number two, my nutrition is pretty bang on, okay? Uh, we all know pretty much how to eat better. Again, it's part of the motivation, so we're more likely to eat better as well. That's not to say that we don't have blowouts. Uh, if you've ever seen a personal trainer on the piss, you know how lightweight they are. But we kind of working for a very long period of time where we're concentrating on our nutrition and our training so that we can be in shape and uh, earn that night out as well. The third thing to consider is not just the training, there's no secret tips, uh, no secret exercises that we do, okay, we still do the same exercises as everyone else, however, we're a little bit more active during the day, okay, think about it, walking the gym floor, uh, we're passing weights uh, to clients, etc., we're cleaning and we're constantly active, alright, so that contributes towards our total energy expenditure throughout the day. So putting that all together, we kind of live in this environment where we're very fortunate, very lucky and what have you, that we can live in a gym and eat very well. But we also have to sacrifice a lot. We don't go out as much in the evenings because we're working till late at night. We have to be up early in the morning for our 6 a.m. clients, possibly earlier as well. We get a chance to nap during the day so we can kind of rest and recuperate. So there's a lot of things that we uh, put output to kind of get where we are, but there's a lot of things where we have to miss out on as well. And if you're looking to get a six pack, you may genetically be very lucky. You may be fortunate enough to get the time into the gym. That's great. But you kind of have to set your expectations. All right, you need to be training at least five times a week to get that six pack. If that's so, what you're after, you have to really nail down your nutrition. Yes, you can get a, 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 a six pack by eating shit food and cutting down your calories, but it's not going to do you well in the long run, okay? So balancing it out, guys, is it really worth it? The pain and sacrifice just to get a six pack? Mm, it's totally up to you. But guys, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Keep it real.